Hello YouTube. Today I'd like to talk over my version of the Altoids Survival Tin. Now I have two different uh, versions of it here. I have one set, one for a rural setting, and this one's the, the urban one. And this is the one that I'm using nowadays. I bought this one about two and a half years ago, and I've been carrying it for two and a half years in my pocket. And it has all the basic items that you would see if you read the SAS Survival Handbook. Uh, basically they're all items that would be very handy if you were lost in the woods, stranded on an island or something like that. Uh, you have, you know, fishing line, the little light, matches, a fire steel, compass, alcohol swabs, band-aids, tinder. So I'm not going to review all the items in here. It's, you could you could find this on YouTube on all. Everyone has one of these. And I, I do think it's good to have if you're in that kind of environment. But if you're living in the city, I don't there's just not a lot of uses for a lot of these and you're going to find that you kind of regret having to carry this thing in your pocket all the time. Uh, I mean, I don't know where I'm going to use uh, fishing fishing lines at unless I go to the park or the aquarium. So I'm not going to even review this one. Right off the bat, you can see that, to me, this just screams prepper. This screams that you like mints. So I wanted to go with something that was real inconspicuous. Uh, and I also wanted something where I didn't need to have, a lot of guys have paracord wrapped around this or uh, snare wire or rubber bands or hair bands just because it's so stuffed with, with items in here that you can't, it doesn't close right away. So the first thing I wanted was something inconspicuous that I didn't even need to have any kind of uh, wrapping around it. So let's put this aside. So you're going to find, this This survival tin is not going to be for as popular or I, might be popular, but it's not going to be as, as common as most of the other ones that you'll see on YouTube. And some people might say that this I'm not going to survive if I'm in any kind of situation, which is probably true. I'm not going to. <laughs> I don't have food, water, or shelter, or ammo, or anything in this. I just have stuff that's going to get me by in city living. So I tried, uh, the one thing I wanted to get in here was uh, something for water, and I tried going with uh, you know, the water pur purification tablets and the the condom to use for a water bottle, but it just didn't fit in there. Actually, I could have stuffed it in there and had a something wrapped around it, but I didn't want to do that. So, so here's uh, the, kind of the items that I have in my urban survival tin. Right off the bat, I have a picture of my son. Uh, I guess in, they always talk about if you're in a survival setting, you want, you need to have the first thing you need is the will to live. So, having a picture like that, or your girlfriend, or bikini model you like, <laughs> I think what well, is good for for whatever tin you have, whether it be urban or rural. Uh, the second thing I have is uh, twenty dollars, spare twenty bucks. I do have cash in my EDC bag, I have cash in my wallet, but you never know when you might need a little bit more. Uh, in this little bag I have four painkillers for headaches and then I have some of my pre prescription medi medication. So, and that's just a one day supply. Here is an item that I don't usually see in a lot of survival tins, but I think it's very key. It's anti-diarrhea medicine. Uh, whenever you get diarrhea, it's, a, it's an emergency as far as I'm concerned. So I think you should always have this on, on you. So. so, let's see. Over here I have a, a pen. It's, a, it's called a True Utility Collapsible Pen. And uh, there's every, I mean, it seems daily that I have either myself or someone else ask me, hey, do you got a pen or a pencil? And I usually never do. So n now I do. I have this uh, this collapsible pen. It's pretty sturdy. And uh, it, it's it's really handy. It writes well. And now I have, a, every time I'm, I get asked that or I need that, I have a collapsible pen. You can put this on your keychain. But uh, when I make my EDC video, I'll show you how my keychain is. I really don't want to have a humongous keychain with a bunch of different items on there. So yeah, some of these could probably go on a keychain, but I want to have them in a, all in its own little special container. So there's my survival pen. Uh, let's see. Next I have a Bic lighter, mini Bic lighter. Now I could have had a fire steel in there, but uh, you know, how many times a day do you get asked by someone, hey, do you got a light? Or, or you actually need a light for, for whatever reasons. And I don't want to, yeah, yeah, sure, I got my fire steel. Here, let me give you some sparks. And uh, here's some tinder. We'll, we'll get a light going. So I find I found that I use this much more often for barbecues, for 
If someone needs to borrow it for a cigarette, if you want to light some incense, what a candle, whatever. I, this just seems more handy to me in an urban setting. Next, uh, there's many times where I, I want to have a USB thumb drive, and this is the smallest one that I found. It's a HP V165W, and let me get a ruler out. I mean, you can see it's, it's extremely small. It's a little over an inch. Got a, it, probably an inch and a quarter. And uh, I, I use this all the time. And yes, I could put this on my keychain. It's small enough. But again, I want to have it all in one little container. I don't want a big keychain in my pocket. This item, uh, uh, the whistle, it's it's so thin. I, I included it in there. You know, I don't. I haven't been in an emergency situation where I've needed this, but I have little dogs that are, go outside, and sometimes if I want to call them, I'll I'll use the whistle, and it could be used if there was an emergency for signaling. Next, I have the Streamlight Nano. Now you could get a real cheap uh, light. This one's a little more pricey, probably six bucks or so. But it's an extremely good light. I mean, it's it's very bright, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just I like having good gear. Uh, one because uh, it makes me a little more proud to show it off. Two, I, I it, you have it has a better resale value. If you decide you don't want to be into the survival and prepping stuff, you could go on eBay and sell this for uh, you know a little less than what you paid for it. So that, that's why I get you know try to get good gear whenever I can. Next, I have. Uh, the three Altoids mints that came with the Altoids tin, so these are basically free. Uh, there's a lot of situations where you wish you had clean breath if you're on a date, if you're having a business meeting, whatever. So it's good to have some kind of something to make the breath smell good. This is one item that I used to have in this rural kit here, and I found I used it two days ago when uh, uh, there was an electric can opener that went down and. Uh, I was cooking and I needed something, and I didn't have an other manual one, but I had this, and so it kind of saved the day. So it earned a, a earned a place in my urban survival tin. And I guess uh, you know how often are you in a, in the wilderness in the forest and and run apart a, run upon a can of tuna fish or something? Uh, it's not going to happen. I think that you'll use this more in an urban environment anyway. So so it went in the urban survival, and it's so small. I mean, it's not a big burden. Over here I have the Leatherman Micra. I had a little cheap knife in the old rural one, but this one has a lot of different uses. And the thing I find, out, find I mostly like using are the scissors. They're really nice scissors. I, I also use the, the tweezers on there as well. So it's a lot of it's a lot of people have this on their keychain. Again, I don't want to have a humongous keychain that weighs two pounds. So. Now, I, I think if you have any kind of knife or blade on you, scissors, you should have a couple band-aids. I don't have any uh, alcohol wipes or anything like that in here, but I have two band-aids just in case I cut myself. And, and I found that I do use these. So. And then last, I just have little five blank pieces of paper for writing with if I need to. Uh, I just found that it's, it's handy sometimes to have. So that's my Urban Survival Tin. I'd like to hear any comments, anything you think that should be removed, could be added. Again, I live in the city, so having snare wire or anything like that, or a compass, uh, is usually, I haven't found that I used it. I tried to fit in this signaling mirror, uh, but I just couldn't get the room. It was a little too thick, and I've never needed to use one anyway. So this is going into a different kit that I have for uh, more of a, a bug out situation. So I'd like to hear any comments that you have. Uh, if you like it, that's great. If you see something that's missing that I could use in the city, that'd be great as well. So uh, thanks. I hope you enjoyed it.